10,000 BC. Did you ever notice that advertisements were everywhere when this film first came out? But literally a couple of days after it was released, all advertisement was pulled. There was a good reason for this, people. This film is bad. And I'm not talking the room bad. This movie's biggest insult is the fact that it's incredibly boring. And most of its dialogue. But we'll get to that later. Famed for being historically, globally, hell, even culturally incorrect. This movie was brought to us from the mind of Roland Emmerich. Oh shit, Roland Emmerich. Ah, <sighs> let's dive into the story. So we follow a boy named Delay and a girl named Everlet as they go off on their bullshit love story until convenient plot point shows up and kidnaps her. He goes off to get her back in a boring ass excuse for adventure. They come across a small village with a tribe who has also suffered a similar fate and believe that he could lead them because of some saber tooth prophecy. Trust me, that's not even the most stupid part of this film. So through endless journeying, they finally come to their destination, the pyramids. Jeez, only 6,000 years too early, guys. And the rest of the film is them trying to get their people back. It's about as boring and predictable as you can get. And like I said, this dialogue is simply the worst. I think even Twilight had a better script than what these actors are given. It'll put anyone to sleep. How the hell this even kept me interested as a teenager, it still confounds me to this day. And the actors, while well, certainly not good, I've got to give them credit for at least keeping a straight face while saying some of this dialogue. It is that bad. The only decent actor in this entire film is Cliff Curtis, and even then he's not good. He's just doing the best with what he has. So like I said, the really bad dialogue, the historically inaccurate story, the bad acting. Is there anything in this movie you can enjoy? Well, probably not, but for me, it has to be the action scenes. While not good, they're certainly freaking masterpieces compared to the rest of this film. A couple of standout scenes include a mammoth chase at the beginning of the film, which is decent. And while the pyramids thing is incredibly historically inaccurate, it leads to a pretty enjoyable climax. Another thing to point out is the effects. For the most part, they are pretty damn impressive. Ugh, but like I said, for the most part. And the size of this film is pretty damn big as well. Again, being globally incorrect. So I'm sorry to say, avoid this one. It's, it's not good. A couple of standout scenes really, really don't make it a decent film. Even if you're a type to easily turn your brain off. Horrible dialogue, horrible story, bad acting is enough for me to say, definitely miss this one. 